I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a surprise guest at your Thanksgiving dinner. I take three fingers over here on the left and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw curve line, curve line, keep going, curve line, curve line, curve line down, 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 curve line back, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going, and off the page. Now, I'm going to come right underneath and I'm going to do it again. Curve line, curve line, curve line, keep going, keep going, keep going, down, curve line, curve line, off the page. I come back up to the top, and starting on the left, I'm just going to draw a curve line up, curve line over, curve line up, curve line over, curve line down, curve line down, curve line over, Curve line down, curve line down, keep going, curve line, curve line, off the page. I come back inside right here and I just start adding more curved lines all the way around and down and up and over and over and up and down. And there's no right or wrong way, you just want to fill in the space with all these curved lines. Now, I'm going to come back to the left and I'm going to do the same thing with this littler one on the bottom, adding my curved lines going over, coming down, going over, coming over, keep going, and fill in the spaces left. Everybody's is going to look different. Everybody's going to have a different amount, and that is okay. Okay. Now I come right over here and I draw a curved line. Right here at the top, I draw a big curved line up, over, and off the page. I come down and I'm going to draw a little curved line off the page on the left and a little curved line off the page on the right. I come right here at this point and I draw a wavy, 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 wavy line off the page. If you have room, baby circles, baby circles, baby circles, baby circles. I come inside this space and I draw a curved line down, up, Curve line down, up, curve line, back, curve line, whoops, curve line up, curve line down, curve line, curve line up, off the page. Curve line, curve line down, up, curve line over here. And I'm filling this in because this is a bowl full of green beans. And this is going to be corn. Now, I come all the way up here to the top almost, and I draw a big curved line about midpoint, and I stop and leave it floating. I come right even with that, and I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line down, curve line up. Come back to the dot, curve line over, and leave that floating. Straight diagonal up little straight line, straight diagonal down, connect. Right here I'm just going to put a wavy, wavy, wavy line. Once I've drawn that, now I come back to this line and I can continue it down, jump over, don't draw through your drawing, continue that line off the page. Come right next to this, we're going to draw a straight diagonal, straight line down, wavy, wavy line. Come over here on the left and we draw a straight diagonal up, curve line down. Take your uh, black drawing 
and just add some little black dots. Okay? Now, come over here and put a dot, and we're going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line, curve line out, and wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect. Come back over here on the left, curve line up, down, wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect. Come inside, and we're going to draw curve line up, down, around, connect on the right, curve line up, down, connect on the left, little curve line inside on the left, little curve line inside on the right. Come right here in the center, little curve line, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up. Big curve line on the right, big curve line on the left, one, two, three little straight lines. One, two little straight lines. And come over here. One, two, three little straight lines. Come inside and just draw a curve line down on the left and a curve line down on the right. Come over here on the left and we're just going to draw one, two, three curved lines. Come over here on the right. We're going to draw one, two, three curved lines. Okay. I think that, oh, one more thing. Come up to the very top. We're going to draw a straight line, jump over, straight line to the right. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, this is supposed to be corn on the cob. So I'm going to take my yellow. And I'm just going to color inside each one of my corn kernels, yellow. And this is the kind of project whereby, if you want, you can draw in session one and then stop and then come back and color in session two. The colors I'm using are just for you to guide you. If you see anything you want to change, go for it. But this is corn in the cob, and this is our first overlap. This is a lesson that's got overlaps, and it also has uh, foreground, four middle ground, and background. This is all in the foreground. So this is yellow, corn in the cob. Next, I took my orange, and I wanted my top of my green beans bowl to show. So I did this orange, blue green for my baby circles, just to give a punch of color. Okay. Pink for my bowl. And again, all of these you can change. These are the colors that I'm using. You can change and use whatever colors you want. You know how I like a pop of color. Okay, next I did two toned green beans. First I did some lines of yellow green. I'm not coloring it in, I'm just giving it some lines of color. Then I went over it with my darker green. So these are green beans. I had somebody say, can I make that fluffy curve lines and make it in mashed potatoes. You may fill this bowl with anything you want. I did green beans. Okay. Next is Big Bird, my big turkey. And the first thing I'm going to do, if you have multicultural crayons, I'm going to do a first coat of color using, I think this is apricot or tan or peach, one of those. If you don't have that, it's okay because all you really need is your brown. And I'm going to lightly do my brown. Not real dark. This is all turkey. Up and over, double color if you want. Don't forget your drumsticks. This is all turkey. Okay? Now, 
I took yellow green for my cat eyes. I took red violet for his nose. And then I made mine gray. These are his paws, so don't forget to do his paws. These are his paws. And here is his face. So I did this gray. You can make your cat any color you want. Siamese, calico, there's all kinds of cats. Then, last thing, I wanted it to look like he was behind some wallpaper. So I took my orange, just did some straight lines, colored in the background, top on this. Don't color through your drawing. And then came down and finished this off. So this is also looks like it's part of the wallpaper. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my special uninvited guest at Thanksgiving dinner. Quick, somebody get the cat. Okay, bye-bye.